So I, I thought for a second that you'd seen me. Like I've, I've seen this guy's feet videos. <laughs> Shrek Crocs mark the beginning of this whole video, which is going to be turned into a TikTok. So over the next two days, I'm going to be going through this experience. It's called the Adult Pro Experience that Sporting Kansas City offer, so the pro soccer team here, where you essentially get to experience what it's like to be a pro soccer player for the weekend. Now, the Shrek Crocs play a pretty important part, which you won't find out until tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog, but I have to go into here with a pair of Shrek Crocs on. Oh dear. Look at the state of these. When I got told about this thing, a friend of mine did it last year. And so as I was watching the recap, the video of what happened last year, I saw him in it. So I was asking him about it and he was saying just how good of an experience it really was. So I've been inside this compound once, but I haven't been allowed to have a look around. So this is my first time looking around it, but the field, so nice. What's up, man? How you I'm all right, thank you. How are you doing? Doing well. Good, man. Tanner. Appreciate you. Tanner? Tanner. Nice yeah. to meet you. Oliver. Oliver. You've got the new, uh, the new yeah. gazelles on. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, dude? Brennan. Brennan? Nice yeah. to meet you. Good Oliver. Meet you, man. Oh, of course, okay. we met you on before. <laughs> Did you have blonde hair no. last time we spoke? Nope. You didn't? Switch okay. It Looks good. <laughs> What's up, dude? All right. So here's everyone showing up to begin with. We've got trophy units. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty gorgeous on an overcast day. It feels like being back in England. I'll get out the bloody way, because this whole facility is a, oh, all of, let's get the lighting in the middle. This whole facility is with, been built within the last like two, three years. I think even David Beckham ranked it as one of the top three facilities that he's ever been to. I actually, I don't know if it's he ever, he's ever been to, but he ranked it top three. Could be in the US, could be in the world, <laughs> I don't know. I have a list of what's gonna happen today, so I have a pretty high level, but the, where does this whole idea for the, the Shrek Shrocks, the Shrocks come in? I've been reading a book called Halloweena for my son, which is essentially his weakness becomes his strength. So he's a wiener dog and everyone makes fun of him. All the other dogs make fun of him for being a wiener dog, for the shape and the size of him. And then he gets given a birthday, a, a Halloween suit that turns him into a, like a Frankfurt or a hot dog. And that becomes his weakness even more so as all of his friends start making fun of him. He doesn't get any, to get any candy on the Halloween night because he's too slow. Anyway, his Frankfurter costume, his hot dog costume, ends up becoming the whole strength of this whole story. And that's what these Shrek shoes are, Shrek shoes are gonna be doing for tomorrow. All right, we're heading down into the locker room, get changed, see lots of naked men. <laughs> so dude, oh, USA today, lovely. <laughs> Little boot space, are these heated? No, just pegs. You guys can find your locker, uh, there should be a nameplate for every one of you. Ooh. Thank you, sir. Is it? Beautiful. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, you want your name oh yeah, I should take that, shouldn't I? Cheers, Devin. Yeah, I'll scoot over if you want me to. Need more rooms. Nah, it's, it's all good. Thank you. I want to make things look as natural as possible without just being a pain in the ass for everyone. Uh, to me, it's. I used to do like photo and video type stuff, like about cameras, and then I got to a place of. I just want to make videos about things I enjoy doing. So now it's the storytelling aspect. Yeah. So really it's like how does a weakness that I have become a strength throughout an experience? So like the story behind the TikTok of this will be that I forgot my other shoes and these are the only things I had on in the car. But then tomorrow there'll be a bit of a reveal. Uh, so we do like the professional photos or videos like the walkout tomorrow. And I've got a little suit that is going to match up with these to become my strength. <laughs> the worst part is, is that uh, you'd think someone who likes being on camera is like an extrovert, someone who like likes the centre of attention. That's not me. So like doing these things 
in part kills me. But you know, I like the idea, I like the idea of making the videos. So it's funny you mentioned feet pics. I actually did a. <laughs> so I, I thought for a second that you'd seen me. I'm like I've, I've seen this guy's feet videos. <laughs> but after I, but after I posted those videos, I got so many uh, messages from guys asking for me to send them feet pics. I'm like, yeah, thank you very much. This is it. This is it. I love my wife, I love my kids, but if feet pics yeah, takes me to the future, that's it. Yeah, what's that phrase? My kid can cry in a Ferrari. <laughs> thank you, sir. They need a little work. Yeah, don't we all? Oh, sorry. Oh, this grass feels good. The rain makes this pretty complicated, especially with the editing, because I have to match up the audio that's gonna be stored on this mic onto the camera, whereas previously it attaches into the camera. But I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna film all of this, but thankfully this camera is splash proof. I don't know, but it looks like we're doing some more running with a bit of a kick around. Lovely. But the cool thing is everyone seems like super interested. Everyone has like paid to be here. And so they're here for the fun of it, which is sweet. We've all signed our bottles with our names so we know whose is whose. This is my signature. Sorry, I know it's awkward when someone's... I didn't realize who or what you were talking about. I know. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right, it's all good. No, it's... All right, so Jessica just told me that you'll see a, a pretty big difference between the grass here and grass over here. This is heated. All of this grass area, heated, so it stays the same temperature throughout the whole season. Look at that facility. All right, let's go and play. You've always been an F50 guy? Or you just no, I actually, uh, so MLS sent us these to do nice. content. Nice. I just yoinked them when we were done. Dude, has to, <laughs> has to be done. I would never buy these probably. No. I like leather, all black, generally. Yeah, oh, you do? Yeah. Yeah, it was like all black was like the coolest thing and then they just started going fluorescent. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's here, right to right, set, boom. Then you're set, boom. Yeah, play the line. Yeah, solid finish. Yeah, back post. Oh. Uh, solid cross. Ask me to do that again. It's not happening. <laughs> That's a good cross. Oh shit, I'm so sorry. All right, bit of a warm up, bit of playing, bit of shooting drill, get, I guess, morale type booster stuff. And I think we're going to play right now. Please. Oh. I'm sorry, dude, that was meant to be a pass. We're doing pens. Not for a penalty. We got Ivan Tony, the stare down. That way. <laughs> the Ivan Tony was crossbar. All right, we're in here doing some skills. Skills that kills training. I think it's shooting. Post, we like this. Nice. <laughs> yes! All the way up the top. No way. Six. Is that it? A tiebreaker now? Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I kind of hope you get a zero for that. <laughs> I just should get a zero. <laughs> I've walked this line of trying to be funny versus being a dick. <laughs> That was karma. That was the boo. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff, bro. Well done. You too. I'm gonna go inside and get cleaned up. I'll show you guys where the uh, the pool is and all that. I think you can figure out where I'm going next if I show you this. Which 
one's which? <laughs> it's toasty? <laughs> to go out there up the stairs I think this way that's where cool to see I did get myself a nice oh, shit. dragonberry through here yes okay no uh, all right <laughs> I, I think I've obviously gotten lost or is everyone in there <laughs> so it's on the stack of the other agreements <laughs> Look at that, signed professional, that's legally binding, so. So at this point, obviously we're all gonna eat, but Shay and I are on the carnivore diet, so I can only eat meat, see what we can find. Everybody, <laughs> kind of how I ended up here. So, again, Michael Burr, the thing landed out with the fourth and four club auction, so. With the presence of social media, and how valuable your players can be, and they can drive their own fans into the stadium. Do yeah, you ever, they can, what? they can drive their own fans into the stadium, so they can be the reason that people come to the stadium as opposed to just sporting KC. Is there a driver to have more of a focus on social media for your players or to find players with a social media presence? I don't really care about social media. Okay, now we're on. Let's just do that again. See this little area in here. This is a little barber area. <laughs> This facility is crazy. But we had, I think the director come through and have a little quick chat with us and we got to ask a few questions. At this point, I don't know if you could hear the response or not, but it was essentially, we're not focused on social media presence of our players. We want the best player for the team. Like I get that, but part of my question, I, maybe it wasn't clear enough, but part of my question was, is there a focus on developing the social media pre presence of the players at the club? Because I feel like, at the moment, how do you get to this place of people coming to watch a person, one of the players in particular? Because right now, people are just coming to watch the team play. No one's coming to watch a personality or someone that they follow on social media. There's, what's the best way to put this? The way I'm gonna put it is, there's no depth to how a fan can interact with their team. I don't know, I, if it was a one-on-one -on -one conversation, I would say, I think it's somewhat short-sighted to only focus on players that are the best players. I think there should be a goal at least to bring in a, the best players and then to also have some level of focus on their social media presence. I think that would be a huge benefit to any club. I mean, you think there were 62 or 64,000 people that came to watch Inter Miami play Sporting KC here. That's why they hosted the game at Arrowhead. And I, I reckon 80 plus percent of those people came for Messi. And I'm like, yeah, he has the, the ability, he's, you know, arguably the best in the world, but he also has an online presence that makes him that much more valuable that people want to come for him. All right, so I think they're, now they're gonna go, they're just gonna chill for a while, have a couple of drinks, and then they're gonna get ferried to the game, watch the game in a suite, and then go home. I don't, I'm not gonna get much out of that. I don't think it adds too much to the TikTok, the short form video I'm gonna make. So I think we're gonna set up the Xbox here. I think that would be a good shot for the video that I didn't score in the actual game, but I did score on the Xbox. Yes, nailed it. I came to the open training the other week and I saw Jake playing. Regardless of his ability, you can tell that he has a lot of energy. And like you see that bounce across the team. When you're looking, when you finally get those ad do the dollars to spend on new players, is that something that goes into a player that you're looking for? Or is it purely ability based? No. It's a very good question. So the first thing is, is that we have positional characteristics for each position that meets our model, our model of play. Okay. That's the first piece. But then you're looking at the physicality, you're looking at the character of the guy. I, I look at the, the, the tenacity of his play. Yeah. And it's, sometimes it's really, really hard. You're judge. weighing up all of the different, yeah. yeah. I would already know 
for all the positions that we know that we're trying to fill, yeah. I want to be in a place where the top two players in each one of those positions that we're looking for, that people on our staff are, are out in their market with those players, watching them live, and then I'm talking about people from here, yeah. and also sitting down with them and having conversation with the player's agent or his family or whatever. Building that relationship. To find constantly. out everything. Look, I, I've, I've had to do situations where I've had to get a player where I've never seen them live. Okay. And they've worked out great. Yeah. Jimmy Nielsen's one. Fastest contract I've ever done. Mm -hmm. And there's been others where it doesn't, doesn't work out so well. So, but for me, I know this. I can sit down in front of a player and I can have a conversation with him. And I can tell if he's going to fit what, what, what I'm looking for from an every day out of the field perspective. Right, because it's more than just on the field. Getting the well, you signed 30 really fast contracts today, so. <laughs> I heard. Yeah. All of us can hit the crossbar and the upright, but we can't hit the goal. We do that a lot too. Yeah. This is the rivalry of the century. I am. The, the winning team. Oh, skills and kills. How do you switch players? L1, okay. Oh, gosh. Thank you. And R2 is sprint. Oh, it's us today. Well, that's. We've seen that a time. I want to see some Brexit tackles. Play back, we like that. Oh, wow. Go on! Yes! <laughs> Do any of you guys remember Robbie Fowler? Yeah? Uh, if I scored today, I wanted to do the sniff the line <laughs> celebration. <laughs> oh, give it to me! That's dirty, that. It's disgusting. <laughs> oh, how do we hit the crossbar? <laughs> I, li I tapped it so lightly. I've never hit a button as lightly in my that life. Games, right? Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> Keep up. No, good finish. I don't know which player's been playing with these controllers, but it feels like they've had Cheeto dust all over them. What are you doing, jackass? <laughs> All right, we are donezo for the day. So the Shrek shrews, lots of, uh, the funny thing was, so I was introduced as an influencer. I don't, you know, I don't know if I love that term because of what comes with it, but that was a good point for me to show the Shrek crocs to, every, Shrek crocs to everyone. And then we could make a joke throughout the rest of the day that I have an OnlyFans for feet pics, which is quite funny how it's kind of a reality on social media with how many messages I've gotten from four feet picks from my foot cream series, like my dry feet series. So I'm looking forward to these tomorrow. And it's, it's been a good bunch of people to get the laughs going, especially for this outfit that I'm choosing to wear tomorrow. But we're gonna call it there. Tomorrow's gonna be a big day. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, night night tootsie.